everybody, it's DJ V, and I just wanted to make a little video because I feel like I haven't addressed some things that you probably have noticed. And the main part is that I have dropped off of the face of YouTube. And I deeply apologize for this, and there shouldn't be an excuse for me, you know, not producing content, but in a way, there's several excuses. So I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about everything that's been going on. It's pretty exciting stuff, and there's some big changes happening and coming down the pipeline. So YouTube has kind of been pushed to the sideline. And this has never been my intention, and this is not my intention, and I want to be making content for you guys, and I want to continue to make videos and to post weekly. Realistically, though, <laughs> it's... A lot of work. I have a lot of stuff filmed and I haven't stopped filming. I just haven't had the time to sit down and edit those videos. I do feel kind of guilty because in a way a lot of the stuff that you will probably see from me when I boot back up will just be unboxing videos and I think those are really fun videos but they're definitely not what my channel represents and I think I need to intermix some tutorial content in there but tutorials just take a long time and they take a long time to film, to plan, to edit. They're kind of a two-part editing process. I have to edit the entire thing first and then record audio and then edit the audio to the video so it takes twice as long. Unboxing videos obviously are much quicker because I film them and they're really fast to edit. So the first thing I guess I could address is that my job has changed and that has caused some problems, specifically with YouTube. Contrary to popular belief, I don't do model horses and YouTube full time. I work three days a week and now I work at a vet clinic. That is a very physically and emotionally demanding job and I am now 9 to 5.30. So it's a full eight hour day and by the end of it, honestly, I'm just done. <laughs> I'm usually too tired to do stuff and I like to take it easy and, you know, hang out with Chance or go see my family or ride my horse or, like, I kind of take those three days and after work I take that as, like, my weekend in a sense. So I don't actually do all that much during those three days. So Monday to Wednesday is pretty booked for me. Prior to this, like earlier this year, I was working the print shop and that was really easy for me to manage. I found that I was able to wake up before work to edit videos and then at the end of the night I had extra time to edit or customize or do whatever I needed to do when I got home from work. I was only working 9 to 5 and that makes a big difference because that's actually only a 7 hour day. That being said, I didn't make very much money at that job so it was hard for me to, you know, come home and be okay with being at home and not working so I would continue to work into the evenings. And ultimately the end goal is to be a full-time artist but Financially, I still need that support from the part-time work uh, to make that feasible. Right now it's summer, so I want to be outside and I want to ride my horse and I want to go camping and I've been doing a lot of that as well and that contributes in me just enjoying my summer. You know, the winter is long. The winter is more months than summer and uh, that is the time where I have lots of time to paint, lots of time to edit, lots of time to do all of the things I need to do. Uh, obviously, yes, I have a horse now, so that does take up a larger portion of my time, and I try to ride him, you know, a couple times a week. On top of everything that's happening, BC is in kind of a crisis state, and we've had really bad wildfires. So there's been a lot of worry about wildfires. You know, it's that kind of devastating feeling of, I have an entire collection in my parents' house, and if my parents' house burns down, I lose my collection. If the house I'm living in right now burns down, I lose my whole studio, and I'd have to start from square one. So it was a really stressful time there for a couple weeks because I was dealing with that, um, and I packed up all of my customs and boxes in case we have an evacuation notice. Um, this is the worst fire season I've ever seen in all my years of living in Canada. So it's it's quite devastating and a lot of communities already have been disrupted by the fires and there's a lot of communities on evacuation and evacuation alert. So trying not to worry about that, but that is a thing. Additionally, Briarfest was happening and there was a ton of stuff that I had to do leading up to Briarfest and after Briarfest and I also had a week-long vacation within that. So that got really hectic. Um, earlier this year, I also bought a printer 
I bought a commercial grade vinyl printer and so I have been producing and making my own stickers. That's taking up more time than I anticipated. <laughs> so I really don't feel like my business is solely model horses at this point anymore. It is kind of 50-50 with vinyl printing and model horses. So I have to juggle both of those and I've also been taking on jobs that are for my community so I've had other clients outside of you know, my regular work realm, and I'm trying to promote that printing service locally, but I'm trying to offer like fast turnaround time. And so with my three days of work, I really only have like my four days to juggle all of the vinyl printing as well as the model stuff and the YouTube. So that's been really fun, but it has been, I admittedly, a little more work than I anticipated. Obviously the monthly sticker club is a big contributor to my income and that's solely going to help me quit my job eventually. Being able to produce my own stickers for that is way more profitable in the end for me. So even though it takes more time out of the model horses, it helps my financial growth and ultimately I need pretty good financial growth to sustain this whole art thing. And then also within the summer, I recently got engaged. <laughs> so I'm going to be making a video about that um, a little more, but that was like in a very exciting time and that's very distracting. <laughs> so I'm going to need to dedicate some time to wedding planning for the future. Additionally to this, I'm actually making a very large move in Four months time. We're technically confirmed at this point for December 15th that that will be happening. But unfortunately that's going to probably put a large halt on YouTube and making videos because I have to pack up my whole studio and move it. I'm going to have an entire level, like an entire floor for my studio, so I'm so excited about that. I do want to make videos about the process of that, like packing up the studio and arranging the new one and making like it look really nice. I'm really excited to like actually be able to like paint the walls and like make it my own and make it better than it is now and like fix all those things that are bothering me. And so I've been madly collecting like desks and tables for the last like six months. I'm driving my family nuts. I'm driving Chance nuts. Uh, because there's tables literally hidden in every corner of this house and there's tables at my parents house and Everybody is drowning in tables right now. I probably have like 12 kitchen tables. <laughs> but I really want, you know, that surface area. I want to be able to like stretch out and like have models on the desk and not be like so condensed. So I want depth. So I've been hoarding kitchen tables versus normal desks because there actually is like depth to a kitchen table. So anyways, that's going to be a whole thing because now I have a whole vinyl printing setup and a whole model horse studio. I'm going to have a whole garage, which means I get to Dremel and do casting in the garage, which you don't know how exciting that is. We've been living in like an inch of dust because I Dremel inside. I have to. I don't have a choice. I don't even have anywhere to do it outside. My business is booming. It's doing way better than it ever has. I have essentially doubled profits already, so I am so grateful for everybody who has been supporting me and YouTube is a big factor for that. Um, however, I am finding though financially I have to make some decisions and my recent decision was to launch my Yorg tutorial as a course and that was a pay-per-view course and unfortunately like I love to release things free and be able to have everybody access them Ultimately, that York tutorial turned out to be very profitable, so I think I will be merging my large-scale tutorials to that format. Not saying that all tutorials will require payment to view. I still want to do, you know, basic videos for YouTube. I mean, YouTube still makes me a decent income, so I would like to do more little tutorials for you guys, but the big ones, um, in specifics, I've filmed the whole process of creating a ghost, so that is the next large-scale tutorial that you will see. And I'm semi-debating too at this point, like I've come up with some cool techniques that I'm not totally sure I want to share. I want to leave some things proprietary to my business. All I am saying essentially is all of these things have been happening and they've been getting in the way of YouTube and I don't think that's necessarily the worst thing. These are very exciting life things that have happened and I am trying to expand and trying to grow and 
Um, I still want to do weekly Wednesday uploads. I just feel like they're going to be smaller tutorials and lots of unboxings. I am essentially here to say that I feel like it's acceptable for me to take some time, take a break, and it's okay if I leave for a little bit. I will always come back. You don't have to worry that I will disappear into the nothingness. I will come back and I will make more videos and they will be weekly. Um, it's just going to get a little busy and I probably will drop off at the end of the year again if I don't have enough uploads to lead up to that. Something's got to give and I can't do it all. I'm one person and I still work three days a week. Until I'm no longer needing to do that, we are going to have a disorientated YouTube schedule and I have to tell myself that that's okay and you guys have to tell me that that's okay and as long as I come back consistently and don't leave forever everybody will be happy and everything will be good and all is well in the world. So look forward to sharing the big changes and the big journey going forward.